Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hidden Gems of Cinema. I'm Jordan Ross. And I'm Michael Zavala. And with Christmas right around the corner, we're talking about Christmas movies for the entire month of December. The movie we're talking about today is Rare Exports A Christmas Tale, which is a really underrated Christmas movie. It's kind of a non-traditional Christmas movie. It's really interesting though. It's it's, it's a very interesting way take. different yes. than any Christmas movie you've ever seen. Yeah. Um, for those who haven't seen it, I'll give a quick rundown of the plot. In the depths of the Corvatuner... Turi Mountains. Oh, the Kavaturin Mountains. Yeah, 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 some Swedish mountains. I've all, been there. All their words are really, really hard to say. Yeah. A lot. Most of the actors in this, I won't be able to say any of their names. Mountains. I'll help you. Yeah. Yeah. Michael's our, our linguist. Yes. Our, uh, yeah, a resident linguist. Um, in the depths of some Swedish mountains, 486 meters deep, lies the closest ever guarded secret of Christmas. The time has come to dig it up. This Christmas, everyone will believe in Santa Claus. So that's the IMDB synopsis. Basically... It's kind of uh, the story of Krampus, which which a mm-hmm. lot of people know. It's this version of Santa Claus that focuses on punishing the naughty kids rather right. than than you know giving presents to the good kids. This movie started out as a short film on YouTube that got a lot of positive feedback and ultimately led to the feature film, oh, which that's was kind of cool. cool. Yeah, they did like a crowdfunding thing. Yeah, I guess so. So this is the first time I sat down and watched this entire movie though. And I really enjoyed it. What did you think of it? I thought it was an interesting. T- I've never really watched these, um, you know, horror Santa or foreign movies. films really either. I don't. Me. Yeah, I don't yeah. even watch foreign films. It's the second foreign film we've done. I thought it was. I thought it was an interesting take. It's not the jolly Santa that we're all uh, used to. So uh, I thought it was very interesting. Yeah, it's one of the best Christmas horror films I've seen because that's yeah. actually a. A uh, fun little subgenre. There's a lot of Christmas horror films yeah. like Santa Slay, Krampus. Yeah, Krampus. And Santa, Krampus, like the Santa Claus, like oh. Claus. That's one. That's... Silent Night, Deadly Night. I loved the music in this. The yeah. music was really cool. The language is really cool. Yeah, the language. They, they. It's such a strange sounding language. But it it's is fascinating. It was a uh, Christmassy, but it was really eerie at the same time. It was a really cool take on Santa and his helpers. Yeah, actually, Santa's elves, which we'll get more into later. They're way different than any elf you'll ever see in a movie. There's a part when they're chasing after this helicopter and it reminded me of world war z the zombies like oh it's yeah, just yeah. Like a horde of these really fast terrifying creatures just running the actor the young boy in it uni tomilla is his name Umi tomilla yeah, yeah that's yeah. it uh he's a really good young actor though he reminded me of the little kids in like the old adventure movies like yeah the goonies or stand by me or the explorers kind of like the smart little kid who's on an adventure right who you know has to be braver than he's ever b- been before and i think he, he did a really good job in this even though i couldn't understand him um you know he he did a good job what was your favorite moment or scene in this movie I uh, can we put a spoiler alert here? Yeah, spoiler alert. Because we're waving. Mute your computers if you haven't seen the movie, and we'll wave again when it's safe to unmute. I like the whole movie yeah. in general, but uh, the whole concept of it. But what I really liked was how they uh, put the kids in that little basket or that little net thing. Uh huh. And then uh, I, I just because like being in that situation, would you put your child like hey, you know what we need to catch this guy? Oh yeah. Let me put my child in this big <laughs> net thing. Yeah. And try to attract them. As yeah. bait. Use your, your kid as bait. Yeah. yeah. I mean, desperate but times I, calls yeah. for desperate I guess you measures. you do what you got to do. I'd use your baby as bait. Yeah. I would. Yeah. You know, That's if true. I have to. I'd but, use your babies. Right. Yeah. You can use all three of them. Yeah. Um, little Jamal. Yeah. Little Jamal. <laughs> My favorite moment was the scene they realize that the man they have isn't Santa, but rather one of Santa's elves. Then they get attacked by dozens of them. And it's just, you know, a bunch yeah. of old naked dudes. Right. <laughs> it's really <laughs> creepy, though. Yeah. A- another thing I liked in it was that they didn't show the thawed out Santa. Right. Um, you never see this huge Santa thought out. Um, and if it was a big budget American movie, I'm sure they would have. It probably yeah. would have been this big battle with a giant Santa. But it leaves a little mystery there and it kind of leaves, leaves it, it open for the, a, se- yeah, a sequel. Well, sequel. Yeah. And it also kinda, leaves kinda. it up to the audience to kind of come up with it on their own. And also, if you watch closely when uh, the kid is going through the book of like the old Christmas legends yeah. of Santa. There's some with the same horns you see sticking out of the ice. There's pictures in the book of like the Santa. Yeah, so you kind of see him. So you see what what he looks like. Yeah, those are my two favorite moments. Waving again so you can unmute your computers. Definitely, if if you're looking for a non-traditional Christmas movie to watch this holiday season, if you're tired of It's a Wonderful Life or Miracle on 34th Street, then maybe you should check this out. And if you like horror Do you want the moon, Mary? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) But it'll still last around it. (laughs) Definitely check it out if you like Christmas movies or horror movies or Christmas horror movies. Or horror movies. Or horror movies, yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Hidden Gems of Cinema. If you have any suggestions for movies you think are underrated, underseen, or underappreciated, let us know in the comments section or message us or email us. And uh, if we pick a movie that you recommend, then we'll give you a shout out in that episode. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all of our social media accounts. Until next time, I'm Jordan Ross. And I'm Michael Zavala. See ya. (laughs) 